here yeah. and I love this thing and it's like to me it's like I don't know I, for me it, it was a must have I'm, like, I'm one of those that you know I can speak very highly about Kingdom Come I don't, I don't know if you ever I loved Kingdom like, Come back like, yeah, yeah I read that when it came out yeah, way so back I, when it first came out yeah. so my wife got me a uh, copy um, signed by Alex Ross in him mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if you remember they, they, they did a special edition one that looked like a bible it was like a red velvet hardcover, right? Yeah, yeah. hardcover. And yep. you bring it out, and it comes out with the um, with the family trees of that, you know, from that earth. Um, and technically explains everything: who's descending of who, or whatever. Um, but it was very few, beautiful, you know, beautifully made and everything. And I, when I took it out, I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you got me this. How much does this cost? It's like, <laughs> oh, you don't want to know. <laughs> so yeah. we left it at that. But yeah, no, I, I I bring it out every year, and I and I read it with a few friends and. We talk about it all the time. Everybody has their... I mean, it's technically... For DC fans, it's the last story, right? It's it's technically like if, if, if DC were to close shop today yeah. and say, this is it, it's over, this is the book you got to read. You yeah, know, it's yeah. Like, you know, yeah. And that's it. End the story. And that's, that's how I took it. That's how yeah. I take it. I mean, I don't know if you ever uh, experienced mean, it or kind of interpret it that way, but well, yeah. um, that's how I always kind of took it as well, too, so... Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it is definitely, yeah, it's definitely, you know it's the end of something. It's definitely, right. um, it's not positive, <laughs> you know? Right. Yeah, it's yeah. not. No, nothing ever is. I mean, yeah. in terms of, um, you know, if you reminisce on good stories, you know, uh, that turn out to be, you know, not very well created, but at the end, you're like, they didn't quite finish it. It was just like, oh, really? This is how it's going to end? Yeah. But then it was satisfying at the same time. Oh, like, yeah. yeah. No, I, hey, this is the end. You know? yeah, I we'll love it. Yeah. yeah. So what he's doing with uh, his World's Finest, he teased something during his first volume um, where everyone was like, wait, what? what is this? <laughs> yeah. It was like the origin story to Magog. Um, okay. And, you know, Everyone was just like, whoa, whoa, hold on. What are we talking about here? And then the next story came in. It kind of went into something else. Uh, and then another story came in. And then eventually he did the one that everyone was looking for, which is, is just finished. And he's going to jump into the next story with the Joker or something like that. But yeah, um, yeah. That's, yeah. that's pretty much what I've been reading. Well, it's, it's, it's funny with, the, with um, the World's Finest. It's actually a really, really good selling book. Um, yeah, I mean Batman for all the Batman books. I mean Batman is the it's always still the best selling book. Yeah. yeah. Um, even though right now a lot of people aren't liking the bat, isn't liking Batman right now. Um, Who's right? Yeah, Sadarsky. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, Chip Zdarsky. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. the former. What was he? Uh, was it Deadpool? Was he writing Deadpool? Daredevil? Daredevil. Yeah, Daredevil was awesome. Daredevil was great. Daredevil, yeah. yeah. That's what my brother was telling me. He was yeah. reading. He's like, oh, he went to Batman. I was like, yeah, oh, collect it. I want to read it once you're done, or whatever. I'm like. Yeah, I'll collect it, but then I kind of dropped off. And yeah, like, yeah, a lot of people don't like it and say it's not good. I mean, I didn't even pick it up, but it's. Uh, yeah. But I mean, Batman, Superman, World's Finest sells, yeah. sells. I I sell more of those than the de the detective. Yeah. So I bet, and you uh, will it, continue to yeah. because Dan Moore. So it's it's a combination of both. I, I want to say the art is phenomenal with Dan uh, Dan Moore. I think yeah, Dan is, Moore. Is yeah. the, from the very beginning, and it's just with Mark Waits writing it complements each other so well yeah because he does the panels and distributes everything so equally that everyone's just like oh, give me more yeah. and it's just it, it it wraps it up very nicely too it's just it's, it's so well done yeah. it's so well done i think i dude it's it, the, the, again the, the last story um you don't mind me spoiling it for you but are oh, you gonna read it or oh no no i'll never i will <laughs> probably never, never read it ever so yes it's you had um so magog eventually um develops himself to so you you world's finest it's 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 a younger version of batman and, and and superman when they first met or whatever and they're just from earth prime they just you know it's like an older story that's never been told okay it's told by mark wade and they're just traveling whatever this and that and then they come across this mystic kid or whatever um thunder kid you know that's his name right so all of a sudden he's being developed and then he's gone <laughs> the Joker's literally does the exact same thing that he did to to Jason, uh, you know, try to kill him or whatever. But then he disappears, boom, he's gone. But no one really knows where he went. And then you see a glimpse of some horns, and you're like, wait, what? Wait, what just happened here? We're like, everyone's just like, okay, well, what are we? What are we going with this? <laughs> and then eventually you make it to Earth twenty two, which is Kingdom Come Earth, right? Is it twenty two? I believe it is twenty two, twenty three. Yeah. Um, couldn't, couldn't tell you the Earth. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's basically the universe, long, right? Know? Earth 22, yeah. I think it is. Uh, and then eventually when he makes it there, 
uh, they both make it there. Uh, they just see the future of Kingdom Come, which is just a grave. Batman and, Batman and Superman. They just the world's finest. All of a sudden, they just transfer there, and it's due to something that Flash witnessed as he's traveling in the multiverse. Blah blah blah. It's like guys, you gotta. I just found Thunder Kid or whatever Thunder Boy. He's on, on this Earth. You guys gotta go rescue him, whatever. So they go there. They appear on the future of Kingdom Come. Like the future is everyone's dead. Uh -huh. You just see a graveyard and it's just a bunch no of shit. things. No kidding. Um, and then something happens to the time lapse, and then they go back to sort of like the beginnings of before uh, Kingdom Come gets established. Like right, you know, it's not like when you start reading it, everyone's like you. You kind of start hearing what, what has happened to everyone. Yeah. And sort of developed. No, this is like much earlier. Okay. So the graves aren't there anymore. No yeah, one's yeah. The, the big explosion hasn't happened. No one's really dead, right? It's it's just things are like just there, right? Um, so you kind of start seeing uh, other people and who's being praised as a god, and it's Gog, right? He's like the primal being in in that earth, and even Superman kneels to him, Batman kneels to him, Wonder Woman, everybody. It's just it's just oh. Gog in there, right? Um, and then eventually it just develops, and then you eventually get Thunder Boy to become, you know, he just, you know, I bestow you the power of, you know, my right hand or whatever, and he becomes Magog, right? Yeah. So is it, now he has got the horn, he transforms, and um, towards the end, big battle, back and forth, things are about to be explode, and just things are going to go crazy, Dark Side shows up. <laughs> You're like, what? what's going on? Of course, he starts battling it out with the other big god, apparently, god, right? Yeah. And it's just back and forth. Huh. And he makes it look so easy. Like, it's just, you know, one hand on the back, like, badass dark side, yeah. as yeah. you would like to see him. Drawn by Dan Mora, and it's just beautifully made. I mean, it's just epic, so epic. Yeah. So yeah. you have the Superman from there with this Superman that's traveling with Batman. And it's like, and of course, the Batman from Kingdom Come is also wearing the armor as mm -hmm. well, too, so... Uh, it's, it's the guy that I went to school with. Now, we're talking Gordon Sloan and I have known each other since first grade back in Gary, Indiana. We haven't seen each other since 1985 when we graduated high school. So he was he lives in Virginia. He's a police officer. That's why he doesn't have social media. He happened to be... Now, he studied karate at a different school from what I did back in Gary. So he was looking up his style, which linked to this information which went to the five dragons karate website and after all these years he goes hey wait a minute i know mark hicks from gary indiana graduated west side high school 1985 so just before new year's i get a call at the dojo and it's a message it's gordon so he's up with his wife so we ended up meeting down at um in somerville at the civil union square so we were talking because we're like, you know, hey, how's this guy, this guy, this guy? And my friend Carlton, who watches the show down in Georgia, he just started his own little comic book company, um, 20th Place Media. So I was telling him to say, yeah, you know, I haven't seen the Hargroves in forever. But I said, one day I got a message because Carlton's watching Comic Book Palace and I'm on there talking about Arcade. And he goes, I'm like, talk about small world. You know, Haverhill, Massachusetts is like the center yeah you know? <laughs> Wait, we're, the, we're the mecca of social media yeah <laughs> and i just think it's funny you just said you know people go wait a minute is that logan since they mark son so they were saying that you actually got some good compliments that you're like a good boy and everything yeah and, yeah, yeah. And the last just, the last time you were in when we were filming yeah, yeah, yeah. um yeah, yeah and there's just and, you know and they're like oh man what a well-spoken what a well-spoken <laughs> kid you know it's uh I it's just most kids that. go blah, 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 and they put their head down you know their father has to answer for them you know it's yeah. uh yeah and then they're like is that my is that is that sensei mark's kid you know, yeah <laughs> i was gonna say back in the day i didn't do much sucking but since he wasn't here i was like oh i guess i gotta yeah, yeah, yeah you, you gotta step up right yeah, yeah. right <laughs> but, which, which just makes it funny because i mean i used to bring his brother michael here i came here before i had kids <laughs> now you know he's 20 years old and one of these days i gotta bring you know grandson in so yeah. it's like literally Three generations have come to the comic book palace. Yeah. Like, 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 like when you were coming in here, he wasn't even around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, wasn't even thought of yet. Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah. It's amazing. Like I said, you know, I got grandkids. You know, got one grandson that lives up this way, and like I said, you know, he he loves Spider Man and everything. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah, you know, he's three years old, but one of these days I gotta bring him in, and I'm sitting there laughing. I'm like, who would think? Especially like I said, it's Haverhill, Massachusetts. Right. Right. Okay. The comic book palace. 
but it's like literally it's like a family place yeah they said three generations me my son and you know next grandson it's like who are they yeah and I've, you know so it's funny it's just i've i've seen a lot of three generations now yeah. i've actually had a fourth generation even coming that they've come in with their baby yeah you know it's uh yeah <laughs> yeah so i mean i've been here for 31 years Dang. it's all it's yeah great. it is it's awesome it is it's awesome and they need to bring back arcade <laughs> Admit it, you like the series. Did I call it? How many years have I been talking about arcade? Oh, God. I am ahead of my time, and don't you be embarrassed because you haven't read back, this series. Let's go back to the other the, the other karate guy. Okay. I don't know that guy. I don't know his. All right. I don't know his oh, story. Ashina Kim. Yeah. Okay. So Ashina Kim, he was part of the Black Dragon Society, which was Is created back? by Count Dante, but the Black Dragon Society don't acknowledge him. Okay. Awesome. Thank okay, you. Yeah. I'll see you later. Thank so, you. His story was, for $10,000, he would fight you. But it wasn't that you would win $10,000. You had to pay him $10,000 to fight him. But then there was always something like, well, nobody ever fought him because he always changed the rules. Like, you, we would fight on the second Tuesday of the week, or, like, if the sun is, you know, at a 90-degree angle, then we could fight. There was always some reason why he wouldn't fight you. Yeah, but, but he took your money? Nobody ever paid him. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, but people were like, "Yeah, we'll fight you." Yeah, you know, let's do this. But um, the best part was, if you go on YouTube, you'll see like videos. Like, there's one where he's standing in front of a bullseye, and it's we're talking like the worst VHS recording ever. And he's standing there, and he's wearing like a ski mask. So, like I said, picture a really skinny Weird Al Yankovic as a ninja. But not wearing a ninja suit, but Four. just pretty much a ninja. Yeah, yeah. So he's standing in front of the target, and you hear it's supposed to be somebody shooting at him. And he'll just go, Psh. yeah, you remember that one. <laughs> and then he'll just like duck. And then one time he moves, and you hear glass break. But there's no glass. Like, why is it glass breaking? And then finally he just, and then shows you the bullet. He caught it. Really? Yeah. Well, since we're on video right now, right? Yeah. You want to see me run around the store and get right here, like, within a second? Sure. Look at that. Huh? <laughs> that was pretty fast, wasn't it? Yeah. I could do, I'll do it one more time. For only one more time. Ready, Ray? Oh, there we go. Yeah. As, as I tell my... Woo. I do that with my students. <laughs> I go, okay, okay. You want a bag? Uh, I'm all set. Okay. <laughs> no, I do that with my students all the time. Like, we'll we'll run across the dojo or whatever. And I'll say, all right, Ray, say go. And I stop. I go, they're like, you didn't move. I go, sensei speed. Yeah. Go. <laughs> That's right, you were ninja like. You yes. you went around and uh So the other thing with Sheeta Kim, one of his videos, he's sitting on the floor with his legs crossed, and the guy comes behind him with a hula hoop. And he's supposed to be levitating. But you realize that all he did was pick his knees up off the floor a little bit. You know, he's he's in the, you know, crisscross, I do whatever, Indian position, I mean, I'm supposed Thanks to say that. Yeah. So the guy he takes the hoop. And then, you know, turns in. So he never goes all the way through. But the best part is, Ashita Kim is teaching you how to infiltrate a house and steal like a sword. And the guy's sleeping in bed. So so, so the teacher you how to, he's teach you how to break into places and steal? Yeah, well, it's all ninja tactics. Like, there's one oh. where, just turn around for a second, Logan. So Logan is, Logan is on guard duty. All right, now I want you to turn to your left slowly. All right, so as he turns, Ashita Kim does this, and then eventually he jumps him. Yeah. <laughs> so when he's trying to steal the sword in the house, yeah. he, you hear this narrator talking about, you know, good concealment, and there's curtains. So he goes behind the curtains, and like the curtains stop here, and you can clearly see his legs. <laughs> and then eventually he comes across the floor and takes the sword from the sleeping guy. But so yeah, so back in the '70s, so people fell for this crap. Like they, they, oh, they the, the guy is yeah. a legend. Yeah. Look at it. I teach legit martial arts. Yeah. I've been doing it for going on 50 years. You know, Five Dragons Karate has a good reputation, but my videos have no kind of tracking like these guys. Like, literally, Ashita Kim is one of the biggest jokes. The stuff he teaches... Is he dead now, too? No, he's, oh. st he's still alive. He's okay. got to be up there. As far as I know, he's still alive. See, Count Dante actually died from cancer. Um... Probably when I was like eight or something like that. So it was in the seventies. He did die from cancer. Yeah. But you know, sometimes I think I should just reinvent myself because you know, 
Stealing, Stop. stealing people's chi. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we actually did a video once where I'm sitting in the chair reading a magazine and him and another student are just flipping. That's how powerful my chi is. Yeah. As a matter of fact, <laughs> matter of fact it was so powerful. The phone, you know, the phone, the phone rang and I was, it was me on the other line and I was hitting Logan with my chi over the phone. <laughs> Yeah. Why did that, why did that not get a million views? I don't know. Okay, I mean because that that seems what, what people want to well, say. I've seen videos where a guy just put your put your hand in my back like a gun. <laughs> now what I teach is, unlike in the movies, when I move like this, bang. If I move like this, bang. So you step in. Don't have the gun in your back. You know it's not wanted. Bullets don't curve. They have to go straight. They hit you. <laughs> so this guy. He was teaching ninja skills. He did a forward roll, kicked the gun out of the guy's hand. The gun landed right there. So when he finished rolling, he grabbed it and turned around. I'm like, come on. <laughs> the chances of that happening are a billion to one. If you're that good, who would even bother attacking you? Right, right, right. <laughs> now, the one dumb thing that I did, because I was trying to just prove this one, guy had a gun, and on his video, he took a knife, it was a rubber knife, you know, and he's like sticking it in the trigger guard and then twisted and took the gun out of the guy's hand. That's a one in a sh one shot that you could even, you can no. possibly even do now, that. Now he actually moved like this. <laughs> so I'm sitting up there, I'm like, this is so stupid, this is so stupid. Damn it, I did it. <laughs> Damn it, I did it. Three times I did it. I'm like, now, once again, I'm not going in realistic, like if somebody's got a gun on me speed. I mean, I, you know, I'm like, I can't believe I freaking did it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But realistically, all once right. again, it was, so sorry, right, you guys. Yeah. All right, I love you, man. I love you, too. I'll see you around. See you hey, um, later, when, I mean, you're bigger than your father now. Yeah. <laughs> lot younger, lot younger. When are you, uh, when are you going to take him down? He's, he's told me plenty of times, you know, he could, I could be stronger than him, younger than him, but he'll always hit me with the car on the curb. I, <laughs> you know, hey. I'll, I'll let it slide. Sensei yeah. Mark teach realistic martial arts. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, I will drive the car on the curb and take you out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, when are you going to take it down? We're, we're going to see it's, it's your dojo now, you know? It's, uh... Actually, one of the funniest ones, <laughs> I told him, process. I will be in the grave, and it'll be the final scene in Carrie when a hand comes up and just you know, gets him. Uh, but, uh, yeah. but no, he's a good kid. Yeah, uh, so hard worker. I mean, they try to figure out what he wants to do in life. I'm still trying to convince. He said he wants to be, you know, a director and stuff like that. I go, your grandmother. I mean, I literally had a chance to draw comic books from Marvel Comics, but my mother's like, you can't draw comic books. You won't make any money. You won't make any money. And then, you know, just before she died, I go, hey mom, you like that Iron Man movie? Guess who could have been part of the MCU money? This guy uh, right here. Uh, but uh, also, too, I love my mother, but she's also the one that sold all my brother's comic books. And I told you, they're over 10 years older than me. So we're talking the original Spider-Man. Yeah. No, she didn't sell them. She gave them to some kid in the neighborhood yeah. that my brothers didn't like. I'm like, yeah, no wonder he's driving around the Cadillac and we're eating peanut butter and jelly. Yeah. Good call, Mom. Yeah. No. <laughs> but you know something? Your mother did a great job raising you guys, you know? It's, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, she did. She, she always... Yeah. You know, I, I love my mom to death. Yeah. And she did great, and I tried to... I told her many years ago i go i hope i'm half the parent she was with my kids you know uh, oh more so yeah yeah, well, yeah. thank you <laughs> all right go to work make some money yeah. so you can yeah. pay your bills no i love right, you see you logan see you guys around yeah, but uh yeah, yeah i said that like if, if i could be half the guy half the man my father is yeah i'm gonna i'm all right in the world yeah you know it's uh your, your dad's a really good guy oh he is he's a great guy and you i know? never met your mother but i i my mother's my mother's great too yeah they're, yeah. they're both they're both yeah. they're both great um I'm glad my mother. I'm glad my mother. My mother was a stay-at-home mom. Yeah. So she raised all three of us, and uh, yeah, she was. You know, she was great. My father would work two or three jobs so she could stay home too. You yeah, know, yeah. until he got moved. You know, until he moved up and he was supervisor and stuff. Then, yeah, and was, then, was. then, then you were. Then you were finally. You were finally set and okay. By then, we were already older. But my brother. My brother got to reap those benefits. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's. Yeah. Uh, that's right. Yeah, because it was so much older. It was so much older than him. Yeah. You know. It's, but no, you know, it, it's kind of funny because, like, you know, you. I don't think you ever met my wife. Yeah, she. Oh yeah, your wife's been. Yeah, 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 yeah she several times. Yeah. yeah. But um, I mean, you know, we just been very fortunate. I mean, she's been a stay-at-home mom, but honestly, that was primarily because if she worked, she'd just be working to pay for. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Like that. So we were very fortunate. She's been like 
my rock, you know, supported me through everything, you know, ups and downs with the dojo, um, with the kids, you know, I mean, you know, we had blended families and, um, you know, they turned out really good. And, you know, like I said, you know, I know lots of people go, you know, behind every strong man is a good woman, but honestly, I can't say, you know, my wife's fantastic. Yeah. I mean, first of all, you've known me for a long time. She puts up with me. So that's you know that's exactly <laughs> what I say with my wife. Yeah. Right. My wife puts up with me. That woman is you, a Do sick. you want the Roswell covers or do you not uh you know it's I mean because I think you've been getting cover A, but Roswell does cover B. Yeah, you know, it's they're tempting, but Yeah. yeah. Okay. I is appreciate the right. ask. Yeah. I do look at them in the back and I'm like, Oh yeah, nice. But actually, you know something? I don't mind those covers. Mm-hmm. It's his inside art that is yeah. that I think is atrocious. But the, there's nothing really human about it, and I think you and probably others don't like the way you know his people are sort of deformed. Yeah, in yeah, 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 yeah. Just drawing like you know teddy bears, sort of. It's like, right. Eh, it's cartoony, but it's not offending me. Right. Kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Because I actually, I actually like his, I like his covers in, on that on that book. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, man, I can't believe this is Rosmo. Mm-hmm. But you know, when when I open up, when I open something up, then he does on in, inside. I'm just, I gag. Mm. I start to choke. Sometimes I lose my breath. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. But then I have, to, I have to calm myself back down, and then then I'm okay, you know. And I don't quite throw up, mm. but I'm about to, you know. Something it's in the mouth a little. Though I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I agree that the covers don't really look like a lot of his other work. Yeah. Now I think he's doing. I forget. I, he's doing a book right now. I think out and uh, Scott. Wanted Scott wanted to try it, or he was he, was, he tried it. He goes, and then he goes, he goes and I, goes, I just couldn't look at this artwork. I goes, well, look who's writing it, and it was Ro- and it was Ro- and look who's drawing it. It's Rossmo. I, I can't do it. Wesley Dodd, Sandman. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah, that's what it was because he wanted he wanted to read. He goes, he goes, yeah, I wanted to read this, you know, and mm. um, but and he just looks, goes, oh, I don't like this guy. And he, so he didn't, yeah, he didn't he didn't pick it up. Mm. So Rossmo lost me a sale. Well, it's the only reason I'm. Buying that. All right, so he so gave, gave me so 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 basically he <laughs> it was a wash. It's a wash. Yep, I was only gonna get one sale out of two people out of that one. Yeah, all right, <laughs> all right. So we'll go with you with the Ross. We'll have in it because um, Scott buys a lot of other books. You you've got a you've got a a more refined <laughs> list down. Right. So we'll Very give we'll give you the it. we'll give you the we'll give you the the Sandman. Scotty's now, got a oh, bunch. I think the last issue is in here somewhere, so that's over anyway. Yeah. Thank God. I mean, not really. Mm-hmm. I look at it this way. I sell five copies or six copies of it. Mm-hmm. It's you know twenty four dollars into my into the register. You know, it's uh, um, I'm not stupid enough to order ten copies when I'm no. only selling six. Um, I realized at the beginning. When I was only selling the six, and not one was leaving the shelf. Mm. After that, the, like the last two issues, I didn't. I don't think I put it on the shelf. I no, I put one on the shelf because I was selling one off the shelf, and that's it. So I've only been putting one on the shelf, now, and that's it. Had two or three issues. Realized only one issue was coming off the shelf. I'm not keep. I'm not keeping it in mm. stock. It's done. I don't think many people care about OG Sandman. No. And then when you say like, yeah, and it's in the forties. It's not See, really that's a, bringing that, most people in. Right. But do you know something? I never liked the Neil Gaiman Sandman. Mm-hmm. Never liked it. Um, it just wasn't for me. I, I think it's the art I didn't really I didn't really didn't really like. But yeah, I read them maybe the first seven or eight <laughs> issues when it first came out, and I was done. But then, again, that was the early nineties. My cha- tastes have mm. changed in comics, mm. but I'm not going back to read it, don't care anymore. But I did like the Wesley, I did like Wesley Dodd Sandman mm. stuff. Um, I like some of the Sandman um, that was what the seventies or whatever. I think Wesley, they did the Wesley Dodd stuff in the seventies. Or oh, I don't know. Um, was it? Did do you remember DC? Uh, I mean, it wasn't the it wasn't the Sandman that the Sandman that Neil Neil Gaiman was doing. It yeah. was I think it was a Jack Kirby that did it. Or uh, Kirby did some of them. Uh, and I'm and like I said, I'm not a huge Kirby art fan, but um, but I thought that was Wesley Dodds. Or it was it was someone that looks like. He, the look of Wesley Dodds, you know, in the eighties too, he did pop up before Crisis. Okay, the eighties, all right. Yeah, but so yeah, I would, I would have read that book. I well, if I support a lot of DC stuff now, um, and it wasn't, and I just looked at the artwork, I went, I'm good, you know. But uh, mm-hmm. um, but I'm, I mean, again, I'm a freak, so uh, <laughs> right. I'm, I'm one of the few people that relate to the Wesley mm-hmm. to Wesley Dodd stuff, mm-hmm. you know. So I mean, they should have known. I mean, they know right when they're putting that book out, it's going to be a low-selling book, anyways. Yeah. You know, now it's a matter of 
Who do you put on it that possibly can give you a few extra sales? I don't think Rossmo was the guy, but he got you. But they lost Scott, so they washed it washed out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's another book that uh, finished up recently that I was glad was over, but you'll be sad. It was Ronan book two? Oh, no. Just because you're losing that guaranteed that was eight dollar yeah. sale. I had two people that bought that book. <laughs> you and him. Both of you guys, both people who bought the Ronin book are in the store at the same time. Um, right. So I am losing the guaranteed $16 that, that, that I had all the time. I ordered two. It's gone. That's fine. You know, it's uh, I'm 100%. It's 100% gone profitable. If I sell two, I sell two. You know, but, I mean, I get it. I mean, it's over. They, they couldn't have been making that much money. So, so, yeah, it's really sad. Hopefully they do a third series. <laughs> Did you like it? You didn't even like it enough though to, have to do a third series, did you? No, well, was that the first? Was. Was that Ronin Two, right? Yeah. That was two. Yeah. Yeah. Was yeah. Awful. yeah. So automatically, I lost one the next <laughs> time around. It was, it's almost at the point where it's not it's not even worth ordering it. You know, you know, it's Most we're, um, we're have have Viking yeah, DNA yeah, because yeah, back, in the day, back in the day, the back in the day, the Viking the Vikings you're, you're did a lot of bad things in Ireland, yeah. right? So so now, I mean, research. I have I have I you probably have I probably have Viking blood in me, and that's why it's in my. It's in my DNA to be healed. Yo, so it's... The probability is so low. All, hey, all it has to be is 0.1%. It's take, still there. Take the cheek swab and send it off to... Yeah, that's oh, right. Ancestry.com. Right, and then when you find out... It wasn't, not, when you find out you're not even then I'll, Irish. I'll, then I'll, yeah, right. Then not, right, I find out, I find out that... Um, you're 100% French. No, no, I find out that it was it was actually the chimney sweeper when we were in Germany. <laughs> <laughs> um, the No... So even this point one, I mean, it's in my DNA. It's not. It's the in my DNA. It's not been tested. Yeah, it's in my it's DNA, confirmed. and and I was, and and that's why I've been a heel my whole life. Your and now DNA, because your you're DNA a Viking. Yeah, that's right. Because tested, I'm a Viking. So you're not a Viking. And you're you, not a Viking. You wish you were a Viking. <laughs> I know a Viking. You wish you were. That's why I was a heel. <laughs> I'm trying to change. You're change. A heel because you're an ass. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you're a heel. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I'm babyface now because I'm changing the DNA. I'm mm. changing. It. You're changing the whole uh, aspect of what it means to be a Viking. Mm -hmm. I like it. You're you're, well, you're no, a man of change. This crap, man of change. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's, the only reason why he's he's a faced out so we can swerve yeah. to turn heel later on. No, we're done with yes. this. There's no more heel. Okay, babyface G. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We will see. Time will tell. And I'll be no. proven right. Well, well, no, like I said, though, it's in my DNA. It's hard to break. Yeah, it's, you, you don't know what's in your DNA. You could be Chihuahua in your DNA. Maybe. You that, would, that, that would be interesting. <laughs> that would be. I don't know how that got in there, but... Well, we, we had some, you know, some deviant, uh, deviant uh, <laughs> oh, relatives or something. Yeah, relatives back in the day. That would explain the Vikings. Well, I mean, they, they, they did a lot to the Irish up there at that time. They deserved it. Well, you, you guys deserve it. Made me a Viking. <laughs> <laughs> Your claim was passed over, though. Sorry. <laughs> Deemed too weak. <laughs> well, that, well, that, well that, they're not, not suitable for breeding. <laughs> oh, no, no. That's what, no they, were, they were trying to breed. They were breeding and pillaging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, right. so the, 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 it's perfect. Then it was perfect if, yeah, if, if we're too weak. This video's already been banned. <laughs> Demonetized. Uh, we weren't kicked off from the new This Week video this this week. You know, it's, <laughs> we're, we're, we'll be okay. Yeah. Any of the, the code words, so. so right. That's why you want to kick off. We were allowed to rag on the bipolar or something, or uh, and Scotty was Scotty did man. Scotty made, yeah. made us crack up. I didn't yeah. see. I, I had to go back and, again to find out why you were laughing so hard because like it was like three beats too late for Scotty to even say something, but then he said it. And it's like, okay, I get the joke that he made. But right. You couldn't stop laughing. Yeah. Like, why you was that? I don't know why I was so funny. Well, yeah. well, I, 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 didn't, I mean, I got it. Right. Right. Yeah. But you know, and Buffy started cracking up too. It just started cracking me up. And and the fact that something that funny came from Scotty, you know, it's uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you were like the next book on though, you already passed that. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Then, then he's like, he's waiting for his moment to get the joke in. <laughs> <laughs> but the fact that he had it, you know, it's uh. I guess he he got to that that conclusion somehow. Yeah. But yeah. I'm like, what did I miss? I thought I like looked away for a second, so I rewound it. I'm like, all right. Yeah. I guess Glenn, I gotta rewind Glenn, it because Glenn, I, I Glenn got the giggles. So I didn't. I didn't understand it. Gave Buff the giggles, which yeah. gave Glenn the giggles. The right, right. Because I mean, yeah. it, if we can make Buff laugh, isn't that what what we live for? That's hilarious. Yeah. Laugh, yeah, yeah. Because Buff doesn't laugh too often. Mm -hmm.
and we made Buff laugh. Yeah. No, I just saw you mm. laughing and Scotty laughing so hard that he walked away. Yeah, like, yeah he walked what? off so straight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Professionalism at its best, yeah. they said. Yeah. Lose of the Barbarian. Is that the mm -hmm. oversized one? No. no that's, that's Savage. Hey, how you doing? Okay, how are you? Good, thanks. That's Savage. So I'll hard. take a coin of the Barbarian, though. You want one of those? Well, who's got the covers? What do we got going on there? Be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we got Diodato, okay. Gist, and De La Torre. Diodato. Ooh. Thank you. That's the one you're going to get. Oh. Well, I think someone else ordered Gist and De La Torre. If you wanted, I would have had to reorder that for you. That's okay. No, I'm going to give you one of those instead. Is that E.M. Geist or Gist? Is that who that was? G-I-S-T? Gist, yeah. That's good. Eden Frost. Expanse, Forgotten Runes, The Wizard's Cult, Garbage Pail Kids. Is it Garbage Pail Kids? Is that the, a new series? No, it's uh, number four. Oh. Through time. How late is that? Um, a couple months. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, a couple months late. Jesus. But like every one of these independent books from like lately, from even. Um, Dynamite has been late. I mean, Vault has been super late, and Scout's been late. Even a lot of the um, Boom Studio stuff has been late lately, too. Um, so let's go. Step it up. Marvel and DC isn't isn't putting out a lot of great stuff. This is your chance to take advantage, to take advantage to get someone into a book, but at least be able to come back the next month and buy another one of the same books. Right. Right, Marvel, I mean, Marvel and DC is like 80% shit right now. Uh, so, I mean, there's enough people down here besides me, you know, and we won't include him. But, um, the... I don't know I think I've he's, done to deserve this level you're not, of disrespect. You're not a Well, Viking. no, no, I don't, think, I don't think you read enough independent stuff to, like, be recommending a lot of independent stuff. That's that's what... Well, I think there's too much independent. I think they, I think there's no filter. I think they just push out anything. Anyone come to, to an independent with an idea and say, yep, we'll, we'll, we'll publish it, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Just write, write it, draw it, we'll put it out. Yeah, that, that's what independent always, it's, it's yeah, always yeah, been, it's you know? Dep that's horrible. The no. market's flooded with too much garbage. I, I, I have to say, into all the good stuff. I have to say, AWA, I haven't read a bad, bad book. By I don't think I have either. I've read different levels, but you I don't think I've read Exactly. A, like, I've yeah. read really, really good stuff and okay stuff, yeah. but I haven't read anything where I, I've actually stopped buying the yep. issues. I agree. Like, I've, I've bought every but they, series. They recently had Shazinski, Garth Ennis. They've had yep. top oh, of the yeah, line. Yeah, they're top of the line guys, too. Yep. So yep. That, that helps a lot. Yeah, but the, uh, just any blow joke can come can put their idea out on, on a comic book. It's just yeah. like that sounds every, like every single month. Scout or like too much. Yeah, does that, but right? but you know something though. I mean that well, that's the whole point. If you make your own yep. company, you put well, out your own book. Okay, you know. Okay, they gotta stop. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, I agree. I agree. There's some stuff that doesn't belong with them, but they produce it themselves. You know, it's not like Marvel hired them to do it. And it was, yeah. I mean, it's like, hey, maybe someone will like it. Some do. You know, it's uh, but so trees are limited. People can come in here. Besides me, recommended. There's a lot of people that they can ask of the regulars in here, and you read a few independent books though. Um, that um, that they can say, "Hey, man, eighty percent of this Marvel and DC stuff sucks. What should I read for an independent?" And every one of us can give them something that's that you can that you can go and you can look at and you can read. Um, so we, I mean, th these independents, whether it shouldn't be on the shelf or, or not. Needs to step up and at least start getting this stuff out on time. For for the ones that we are now staring people, you should try this. Or you should try this company. Um, we'll get it out there because what's going to happen? They say, "Well, I tried this book. I haven't seen one in three months now. I could I could still be reading and complaining about the, the the same crap I was reading in Marvel and DC." You know, so I mean, they they got they got stuff up, but like almost everything has been late. It's crazy. Yep, or. At least, at least some of them starting to catch up. They're still late, but they're still coming out monthly now. But you fell behind for three months, and now you're coming out monthly, but you're still technically three months behind. But at least it's on a schedule. Right. You're back on that monthly schedule now. Right. Right. Not on the Brian K. Vaughn schedule. Right, right. I don't think there's anyone else in the world on a Brian K. Vaughn what's schedule. That, what's that, six six months on and, and a year and a half off? <laughs> you do yeah. have the, the Batman Silent Night scratch and sniff Santa cover. I did. I did. If I yeah. got that, that's yeah. it didn't smell like booze. It smelled like what peppermint, right? Yeah, yeah. I was expecting it to smell like booze. Yeah, yeah. Because it was the beat yeah. up Santa on the cover. But so I made it halfway through. It, I mean, it was goofy. Yeah, yeah. it was. Uh, um, Detective Chips in it. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Yeah. yeah, you know, it's. But um, yeah. But then I, I end up, sell, I end up selling through it. But again, I try to say, 
I, was it Scotty? Yeah, Scotty didn't believe well, me. Well, so didn't believe you. No, it was like, you put a, a, a gorilla or some sort of an ape on a cover, the book sells better. And they put all it was like in the sixties. Yeah, yeah, and I forgot what I forgot what editor so, it was yeah, that, so that did it. DC, one yeah, yeah, it was DC, yeah. and then they started putting they started putting apes on everything, and the sales went up in those books. You put apes did on. They do the same thing with ducks, also, like because of the ducks. Leonard well, bias, it was ducks. Yeah, you get ducks too. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. duck tail stuff or whatever. Yeah. Like they, you put a duck they, on it, I'm into. Yeah. Because yeah. I like Howard the Duck. Like I'm not reading that book, something epic. But the last two issues had um, actually had the ducks right. The duck on the cover. It looks kind of like a Howard the Duck. You know, I actually stopped and looked through the book, and I haven't even picked it up to read it. But that duck was on that cover. I I opened it up and looked at it. That beneath the trees where nobody sees. Um, I was like, I don't even know. I, I don't know why why I ordered this book. I ordered two months in advance, so sure. I forget what the book was about. And the story was interesting that I ordered a lot of them. But I go, I don't know what this. I'm looking at the guy. I go, oh, this is like a children's story until the duck was being dissected. And I go, <laughs> oh, I've got to read this. So yeah, maybe ducks have something to do with it too. I don't know. But yeah, they were, yeah, they were dissecting a duck. And I said, oh, I got, I got to see what's going on in this book. This is awesome. You know? <laughs> I love dismembering a duck. I yeah. It was dissecting. No, yeah, 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 they, yeah you're right. Project. You're right. Because they, Right. It was serial killer was killing the duck, so yeah. cutting it into pieces to yeah. make it easier to bury. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Dismembering. Was Dismembering. It? Right. Yeah. yeah. All right. Man. I'll let you know what I think about the uh, Zilla Zilla. Zilla Zilla. All right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> keep it up. Thanks. Man. All right. Thanks. thanks. We'll see you later. Yeah. <laughs> Tell you that saying's going national. <laughs> All right, Zilla Zilla. <laughs> <laughs> And I read the second one down here, and I didn't like, I, I, I did like the first issue. The first issue. Said, oh, sucked. give it a chance. Read, read, uh, and I tried the second one, and it just didn't do it for me. It didn't pull it in. So. See, I didn't care for the first issue either. Yeah. The second one yeah. didn't pick it up at all either. Yeah. Second, yeah. The first just, issue was. Just, was oh, they just all, yeah. they, 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 they're all written out of character, it seems yeah. like. It's just, they're not like, that's not Superman, that's not Flash, that's not Wonder Woman, they just, or whoever else. Did you read the latest one? The one that came out this week? No. Yeah. Not yet. Oh. Yeah, not yet. It's good. Really? Yeah, there's. I there's know. Does it? Does it? Does Godzilla? I mean, does King Kong have the Green Lantern? Uh, uh, no, uh, they do have uh, like Mechazilla. Okay, but there's also a Mecha something else in there. Too. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's it's awesome. Mecha Glenn. Which <laughs> no. was, was written better. That's all. It's not written awesome, but no. I mean, it's awesome seeing like just King Kong. It's drawn or, okay. And it's written poorly. I don't. Uh, like yeah, it. it's not even. It's more Godzilla fighting like. Yeah, there's not enough yeah. Kong in it. No. Yeah. They went to like I think the third issue was it like is it Supergirls on Kong Island? Yeah, with, with he Green likes, Arrow. Yeah, because Kong likes her because she's blonde. Yeah, or yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah she, even... but she's still staring him down. Yeah, and then she finds out that Superman's dead, and uh, or is he's in a coma? He's in a coma, yeah. and uh, and she takes off, and now Kong's like, huh? Yeah. But and I and I loved Grodd though. He knelt down to Kong. Yeah, it's, kneel before Kong. Yeah, that's right. You kneel before Kong. Who would have thought Grodd was going to kneel before anybody? See, he's a bigger, you see a bigger monkey, then you got to Yeah, fight. yeah. He's like, all right, I know my, yeah. I know my role. That thing's yeah. Kill me. Yeah. <laughs> Set on me. Yeah. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, I like it a lot, actually. And I would like to see half the Justice League disappear after this. Done. Hey, this is the monster verse. Anything can happen. It's a different verse, probably. Yep. Now will you go see Godzilla Kong Kong X or whatever in the theaters or no? Most most likely. If it's not a three hour movie, yes. I can't imagine that being a three hour no. movie. No. But it seems like they just want to make it you know I don't want to see I don't want to that's not a movie I want to see for three. That's an hour and a half movie and it's done. Yeah. Hour and forty five minutes. I was say uh, hour and forty five is probably yeah. that that's the sweet spot right there. Yeah. yeah. That's all you need. I mean, if Kong, you get Kong had a metal glove, did you see that? I saw that. Yep. I'm Kong, okay with that. The other thing had a a building on a chain that you can <laughs> people with. And I'm like, all right, this yeah. looks interesting. But, hey, no one knows what goes on at Skull Island. Anything yeah. anything can happen. So, yeah, it's interesting. But, I mean, in the end, it's a giant ape and giant a dinosaur. Lizard. Yeah, a giant lizard. Right, thing. fighting. You don't need two and a half hours. Uh, you don't need two and a half hours to tell that story. No. Nope. Yeah, we don't want it to overstay its welcome. Yeah. But, yeah, I, I'll probably... That I may go see, and I could possibly see the new Ghostbusters, too. Yeah, I, yeah. I said it was good. Yeah, that's what he said. So and I might see it. I think that was one of the last movies I went to the theaters to see was the last was the last Ghostbuster movie. Oh, okay. You know, it's... 
I thought it was good. I liked it. Oh, yeah. I liked it a lot. I've watched it a couple times now. It's uh, it's been it, now it's actually hitting regular television too. So I've had it. So it's been on like TBS. So I've yep. I've had it on while something else was on, and I'd listen to it and watch and watch part of it. Yeah, still can't watch the other one though. Uh, the one with the girls. Yeah, it was, I, it was, it was awesome. okay. I, I never I never saw the end. I fell asleep. And uh, Annette stayed awake. She she watched it all. And I, I I fell asleep like fifteen minutes left. She goes, "Oh, uh, you want? I'm good. I, I, I never I never even saw the end. Don't even care how it ended. I was I was okay. okay. Yeah. I, it would have been okay if I fell asleep earlier in the movie. I would have been all right with that too. But, but like, right at the beginning. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, there was a, there was a few funny parts. I yeah. thought, but I thought some of it was just ridiculous like not not funny at all i'd rather go watch a a schlocky horror film or uh a sci-fi you know santa jaws or something right. Three so, headed, three-headed crocodile yeah 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 right i'll take a crock a shock yeah.